So what's good? What's good, John? What's good, John? Stay tuned for another BDC. 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 BDC video. Okay. So in this video tutorial today, what I'm going to do with y'all is we're going to go over weeding. Because I understand that some of you guys, especially you guys out there that are new to this, like myself, you know what I'm saying? You need a little help. You feel what I'm saying? That's what we do here in this game of t-shirt making, printing, pressing. We do these tutorials to help one another along on your journey at t-shirt making success, printing success, pressing success. So, we're going to go over some, some um, <clears throat> I'm going to go over some weeding with you guys. So, I got some black vinyl here, glossy black vinyl. Got my t-shirt over there laid out on the press, waiting for me to get ready to press it. First things first, I got to load this, um, load up my, my, uh, mat. I'm going to load my mat up with this vinyl. So I'm going to show y'all a little trick that I do, because loading up this vinyl sometimes, putting your, not your garment, placing your image or your material onto your cutting mat, it can be tricky sometimes, because it's very, very sticky. So in the beginning... I was bumping into a lot of issues, and I kept saying, like, yo, what's up? This thing's so sticky. My hand keeps getting stuck to it. You know, if you lay it down and you don't put it right on the line, the way it is showing on the screen, then you got to peel it back up. You got to start over again. And that got a little, you know, a little tedious for me. So, I figured I'd do this video, show you guys my little technique, my little trick that I um had to figure out, had to learn a little trick. You know what I'm saying? So, what I like to do... Is I take my, if you're using vinyl, you know, well, for me, in this case, I'm using glossy. So the glossy side goes down onto the cutting mat, while the matte side, which is like the dull side, I like to just say the dull side, the matte side goes upward. This is going to be facing up because this is the side that's going to be getting cut. And the glossy side is what's going to go down on the material or on the garment, which is what's going to show through. Okay, so first thing I like to do is I'm going to take it, I like to give it a little flip, take it like this, and just fold it, fold it, or roll it, however you want to do it, you can roll it, but let's just roll it a little bit. So I'll put about maybe two rolls in here, roll it up like this, leaving a little bit out, you know, y'all know, I mean, listen, you roll weed, <laughs> Y'all know what I'm talking about, okay? So you just want to roll it a little bit. Not like rolling weed, I'm just saying, though. So you want to roll it a little bit. Make sure it's even, because when we roll it down onto the mat, it's going to line up evenly along the lines. So you want to roll it a little bit, leaving a little bit out, and make sure it's even. Keep your hands, or keep your fingers, rather, near the end of the roll, holding it together like this, and just make sure it's even. Give it a little tuck. Pushing the sides together, making sure the sides are even. And then keep it as close to the tip as you can, leaving a little bit out like that. Y'all see how I got a little bit out like that on the side? And then I'm going to hold it with one hand. And now we're going to put this down. Now listen, first time is not always a charm. Sometimes I got to do this a couple times before it really gets right. But bring this man in to me. Make sure you're under a good light too. So... Right here is where I need to be. This is the one. This is the one. I got the one in each corner. Just the way it's going to be set up on your screen. That's how it has to go onto this mat. Because that is how the Cameo, the system, is going to detect and read it. Okay? So, we want to put it right here in the corner. Keep that in the corner. Like that. But make sure you, got your, you bring your thing up to the line. See? I get stuck, it'll get stuck real quick. So you want to be careful. Try to hold it and not put it down before you line it up, before you edge it up. So I'm going to try to get this as, as good as I can with a steady hand. And, oh, shit, that's looking like I got it. Hold up. I'm showing off. <laughs> All right, so that's how you do it. See that? Did y'all see that? 
I hope y'all can see that. Did I have my camera good for y'all? I hope so. So see when you let it go and it goes down, it's lined up perfectly. Now let me get my socks. I'm going to put y'all on pause real quick. All right, so I got my sock here, and I showed y'all in the last video why do I do it or why do I use this sock. It's a good way to smooth down your vinyl onto your garment and even onto your sticky mat without getting all these fingerprints and stuff like that. Because I already caught a couple little marks and stuff like that, but that's cool because you know what? This, this side is not the side that's going to show through on the garment. Remember, this side is going to show through on the garment, and that's the glossy side. So right here, the dull side, the matte side, as it's really called, is the side that we're going to cut. So just to smooth this down real good, make sure it's stuck to my cutting mat real good. I'm going to take this sock, and I'm just going to rub it uh, along the edges. Just along the edges like that. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it's down really good, which is also going to help when it's time to place it down onto our garment and iron it. Okay? Press it, rather. Or iron, because some of you might be using the iron. You know, even though I don't see why somebody would do this type of printing or pressing with an iron. You know what I'm saying? This is a little more high tech when it comes to using vinyl. Now, iron would be cool, you know what I mean? If you got a good iron that gets really hot and you just doing HTP. HTP, that's heat transfer paper. But when you're doing vinyl, you really don't want to be using no... uh. Iron, you know what I'm saying? Because you want to make sure this bad boy is really embedded into the garment as good as possible so that they can hold up to the test of time. You feel what I'm saying? You want to make sure that after a few washes, it ain't going to just start peeling off after one or two washes. You know, especially people buying your garments, buying your product, and then after one wash, after two washes, just peeling off. I mean, I had that happen. Not with anyone that I sold anything to, you know, but with myself. I noticed, you know, when I was just doing shirts just for me, for practice in the beginning, I was noticing after one wash or so, the gaunt, you know, the uh, the material, the HTP that I was using was from falling off the garment. You know what I mean? No good. So I had to keep going through a process until I found that right HTP. Same thing with your um, HTV. You know what I'm saying? Your heat transfer vinyl. You want to make sure you're picking out some good getting some good quality vinyl. You know, that's why I told y'all this HTV punch is pretty well. You know what I mean? Like, I haven't really done the wash test yet. You know what I'm saying? Which I am going to do. Um, probably not this week because I just did laundry. You know what I mean? So probably when I go do the laundry again, another week or two or whatever have you, then I'll give it the test, the uh, wash test. And we'll see how this HTV punch really holds up. In the meantime, in between time, we using this, okay? So, I got something stuck right here in this corner. I gotta get that off of it. Oh, I know what that was. That was um some HTV that got stuck on there. I had to keep peeling it off, peeling it off. Matter of fact, that was back when I wasn't getting my machine to read the registration marks and I wasn't getting it to cut. So I had to keep, you know, taking that, taking it off, taking it off, starting again, starting again, trying to um reprogram the software with those registration marks. Yeah, that really got on my nerves, but you know, I just want to try to get this out the way as much as possible because I don't want to have no interference with the cutting. All right, so that looks pretty good. Smoothed out. All right, so now I'm going to take this to the back. I'm going to load this up. Come back. We're going to start weeding this, all right? Get it ready for our shirt. Hold tight. All right, so I got my image already right here. All I got to do, let me see, make sure all my force and everything. Uh-oh, let me check this out. I got to put my needle at two, three, four, five. Yo, my software moving kind of bugged out. I don't know what's up. Maybe I have to delete it, reinstall it, or what? Okay, this is on five. Put that on five. Good. Bring this force down to an eight. Eight, that's good. My speed is at five. My passes is supposed to be at two. Put that on two. It says ready. Okay. Uh, wait a minute. Hold up. One more thing. One more thing. Action. Auto. Action. Auto cut. I think action is supposed to be cut. Yeah, action supposed to be cut. And two auto blade detected. Now we're going to click. 
auto blade, not the auto blade detected. We're gonna go just click auto blade. See how glitchy my, my software acting? It's taking man long just to do stuff. Now, come on, come on, come on, come on. Auto blade. There it is. What's it doing over here? Loading again. All right, there we go. Okay, force, needle, everything set, set, set. Oh, this went back down. This went down to six. Put that back on eight. Nope, that's nine, eight. See, this machine bugging. Eight. Eight, man, right there. Man, what's up with this thing, man? It's bugging out. Hold up, let me sit down for a minute. Matter of fact, let me just pull y'all. All right, so let's go ahead. I got it set. I had to do it manually because for some reason when I was pressing the buttons right here, you know, the little up and down arrows, it just kept jumping a number. Like I press it to go from 9 to 8. It'll, it'll bypass 8, go straight to 7. So like I said, my hardware, not my hardware, my, my software is on the blitz right now. So I think I'm going to just go ahead and uninstall this after I'm done, okay, and then I'm going to reinstall it. And hopefully that'll take care of the problem. Okay, because yesterday I did run a troubleshoot on it, and it, I thought it was fixed, but obviously it's still a glitch in it. All right, so I'll try to fix that later. But anyway, I got everything set now. My material, vinyl glossy, action, auto cut. Okay, that's not, no, I don't want auto cut. I just want. Hold up. Auto cut. I just want cut. Okay, there we go. See, just keep doing this. Like, every little thing you do is, like, reloading it, re-registering it all over again. Tripping out. All right, so, you know, um, normally because this font, these, not font, but normally because this uh, image, this, this thing that I, this uh, image that I designed, it's like, let me see, white. I got white, black, and I got gray in here. So, I got three different colors. Normally, I would go... If I was layering this, but I'm not even going to layer this. I'm just doing this all straight black, so I don't have to do that. Now, if you were layering it, what you would do is you would come up here to line. Okay? And it would be detected all the different colors and shit like that. So, you would check off whichever one you ain't going to cut first. Which ones you going to cut first, you check. Blase, blase. I'm going to say that for another video. Let's get back over here to where we at. Turn it simple. Stay on simple. This is all set up. Okay, my force and everything is set up now. All right, so let's go ahead and go to sin. And, you know, hopefully everything work out and it's cut correctly. So far, everything's been cutting. I told y'all I'm cutting sin. See how long that took? It's the software. It's bugging out. Scan the perimeter. I don't know. It's just been acting so crazy. Got me a little nervous for a minute. I mean, let's just be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Be cool. Don't lose your cool, man. I'm cool. I'm cool. <laughs> but yo, we'll be back. All right. So everything has been cut on our mat. Can y'all see this right here? Can you see the little details in there? Okay, well, let me see. 
Maybe you can't see the, oh yeah, you can see it because I can see the glare off the screen. All right, yeah. So that looks like a good cut. But let's, let's just be sure that it cut all the way through perfectly. I kept everything set to how I always had it. So it should be a good clean cut. Now let's just peel this off. You want to peel this off of your cutting mat. Okay. I'm just going to lay this down onto my cutting board. Like I told y'all, this is the board that I use for cutting my vinyls and things like that. Card stock, whatever has you, whatever have you. But I'm using it also as a as a weeding uh, board because it's nice and sturdy. And you know, I like it. I haven't gotten a uh, what they call a cutting mat for weeding and stuff like that. I haven't gotten one of those yet. I probably will eventually down the line, somewhere down the line, but for now. I don't really need that because this is pretty much doing the job. You know what I'm saying? I can slide it right through there. You know, got enough space. So the first thing you want to do is you want to catch it at the end. So I'm going to come here to the end, somewhere along the end. And you just want to try to get a grip of it right near the end. And this can be a little tricky too. And like I told y'all, tedious. This is why you get to charge the kind of money that you do. You know what I'm saying? If your material is good, you know, your designs, your product and all that is good for all the time that you're going to spend, then yes, you can charge $30, $40, $50 a garment and even more. Okay? It all depends on what kind of garment is it. You know what I'm saying? How detailed was the work that you had to do? Why is this not catching right here? Come on, come on, come on. All right. So if I can't catch it on one side, I just flips it. Maybe a little side, another side will give me a little more, a little more luck. So try it again over here. And then the trick is you want to catch it at the corner. So I try to hold it down so it don't move too much. All right, there we go. We got some peeling. See that? So you just keep picking at it right at the edge, at the corner of your sheet or your roll, whatever you're losing, and catch it. And once you catch it, you can let it go. Okay, now we're going to slide this over here like this. And I'm just going to take my time, and I'm just going to peel. See? Because, you know... I don't want to peel anything that's not supposed to be peeled, right? So you want to take your time. Okay, you see that? That's coming off real nice. This is another thing that I have become really, really, really fond of when it comes to this, this, uh, what you call it, this HTV. Okay, so let's just peel this layer. Cause you got a couple I got a couple layers going on around here. So let's just peel this one. Okay. And now where am I gonna start from? See, once I stretch this out on a sock, let me take this sock and wipe this off. I'm seeing a little lint or dust or something up here. But once I stretch this out on the uh software, it's supposed to be perfectly round well it is perfectly round the way I designed it but I had to stretch it out to make it a little bigger on the, on the software and it made it made it a little more kind of oval than round no bother I'm, I'm gonna fix that on the next go round all right so where am I gonna start first I'm gonna move this out the way I want to get that sticky stuff on there so I'm gonna keep this right here Keep that right there. Make yourself a nice little pile to catch your uh to catch your vinyl. Okay. Or it could be HTV. HTP, because you can weed that too. I'll show you guys that on another video at another time. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do, looking at this design, see, look at your design. When you look at your design, let me try to hold this up to the camera so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Can you guys see this at this light? Uh you see what I'm saying? You can see in your design 
Like right around here, I see that I have to weed this out. That's a circle that's going all the way around because this is a logo. And then you see where each one is cut. You see the cut indents. That's where I'm weeding. That's where you want to be weeding. Okay? So, I'm going to take this circle out. So, let's just catch this circle right on, one, right on the line. Right on the line where it's cut at. What you got to do is catch that. Once you catch it and you lift it, you see, it comes right off. See this? It's coming right off. So, we're just going to keep pulling that, pulling that, pulling that, pulling that. And bam. That's it. Come on. Get off of there. Get off of there. All right. So now let's get these letters out of the way. Now these letters got some little indents going on inside of them. I'm wondering. I don't know how I'm going to read that out. But let's check one. Let's do one and let's see what it is. Let's catch it. Catch it right here at the end. And peel it off. Okay, I see. It leaves the little dots on there. Well, some of them. Because they're very, very little. They like little pin marks inside this font. This font that I use for this design is entitled, or it's called, uh, Klondike Personal. So, see right here? Y'all seeing these little holes? On this font, there's like little indents, little dot, 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 dots all in the font. So... It took some of them, it caught some of them, left some of them behind to, you know, give the appearance of holes, but they're very, very microscopic, very small, some of them. So this is cool. I mean, listen, I don't think anybody going to be like, hey, yo, man, what you trying to do, man? This ain't right, yo. Huh? Are you trying to sell me something that's messed up? Nah, I really doubt anybody going to do any of that. <laughs> don't worry about that. Okay, let's grab another one. Now, this one didn't leave but one little dot behind. Yeah, because they're very small. But that's cool. Because if people can't miss what they don't see. I know what the font entails. I know what's on the font because I'm the creator of the logo. Right? But if they don't see any little dots or indentations, then they won't ever know that there were any ever there. So, nobody's getting cheated. You dig what I'm saying? As long as the lettering and every detail of the lettering is perfect and it's uh, uh, legible, okay, I'm quite sure no one's going to have a problem, all right? So, basically, y'all get the basics of, of weeding, okay? I was probably pretty self-explanatory in the last video that I did, but I wanted to keep um, loading videos and content up here on my channel because... With the launching of my website and everything like that, I will be having an influx of subscribers to this channel soon. Okay, wait a minute. No, this one. Let's take out this hole first for the O. It's pretty. You know what? I think it's so stuck because I did rub it down with that sock. Okay. Wait a minute. Oh, no. That wasn't supposed to come off. Nah. I was supposed to leave that. Right? No. I'm not supposed to leave that. I'll take that off here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think that was supposed to get left. Oh. Wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Where'd it go? See, it's right here. Right here. Let's try to put <laughs> put it back. Good thing it's sticky. You get it right there. The lines are still there where it belonged at. So we're gonna take this and stick it right back on there. Look at that. I'm gonna take the sock, dab it because the, the around the circle is sticky. So don't rub it. You don't want to get all that lint on the sticky part. So just dab it. Force stick down, okay. See, I was trying to peel it, so I scratched it a little bit. But, ah. It's 
It's not bad. Yeah, you know, just be careful. Mistakes are going to happen. It's not a major mistake where I got to say, oh, man, abort this mission altogether. But, you know, just be careful. Take your time. Pay attention to what you're reading so you don't do what I just did, which is read out something that was not even supposed to be read out. Okay? Yeah, this is stuff down here pretty good. All right. Let's get this K off of here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run through this. Let y'all see me press it. And that'll be that. But so far, y'all get the drift about weeding, right? For anybody that was having problems or didn't really understand how to weed. See what's happening right here. So, I shall be back. Now, let me show y'all something right here. Now, I have a gun. A hand holding a gun right here. So, it's the barrel of the gun. You see this? Y'all, let me see. Let me try to move this over for y'all can see it's on the light. Uh, I can't see if y'all can see that or not. But anyway, right here, this is a hand holding a gun. So, it's pretty much looking down the barrel of the gun. And I'm looking at, you can see the uh, cylinder and everything. And the hand, you want to make sure you weed something like this perfectly. So don't, you know, rush. That's why I said take your time because rushing, what could happen is you'll mess around and you'll just, you, you see lines around it. You see that it was cut all the way through. And you'll mess around and you'll just pull the whole thing off. And you know what I'm saying? Then you can't even really tell that that was a hand. You'll just have the silhouette of a hand. So we want to make sure we beat out the right spot so that we can see that this is a hand and that this is a hand that's holding a gun. So sit back, look at your your, uh, your image, and you know in your mind what this is supposed to look like. So you should be able to figure out which parts you need to be weeding and which parts you need to be leaving behind. Okay, so you just wanted to say that. All right, one, two, three. I got everything weeded. Had a little nick. Not, not, nothing major, but a little nick. You know what I'm saying? I wish it wouldn't happen because I'm anal like that. You know that's the Capricorn in me, so I do love perfection. But very quickly, let me go ahead and press this onto the shirt. Before I end this video, let's get the lint off with our lint brush. You know how we do. I already smoothed it out. Hit it with the heat press one time to, uh, you know... Get all the excess moisture out. Smooth it out. Okay. Get everything in. Got it lined up perfectly where I want it. Okay, boom. So now let's take our image. And here's the finished product. See that? This is my, my lady. My, uh, this is my new one of my new. This is my newest brand. Put it like that. Okay. This is not just a design. This is a brand. I'm actually de designing this. In collaboration with with another partner with someone else okay so let's go ahead and let's place this down evenly I had a little line in the middle I think like my fit look like my line faded out but let me go ahead and try to place this see what I'm saying like the hands let me look at this with on the shirt for a minute let me look at this is there something else that I'm missing on this hand because this hand with the gun and the barrel showing it's tricky. Some of the little dots that's representing where the bullets go, the barrel, they were so small, and I guess it really didn't cut deep enough around those little holes that some of the holes actually got snagged up as I was trying to weed around the barrel. Okay, but trying to, because you want to make sure when people look at this, they know what the hell they're looking at. What are we looking at? What is it? Okay, so I'm looking at it right now, and I'm like, nah, that's not supposed to be there. See, I think I was supposed to keep the lines and take off the, the fingers. What was I supposed to do? This is tricky right here. Okay. Hold up. I got to look at this real good. Be back. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and press this. So let's go ahead and bring it down. This is a test run. Let's set the timer. Boom, 15 seconds. 302 is our heat. Okay. Hold it down. Get that extra pressure on there. Even though I did tighten it up a lot more. Still. 
You ain't even like that. Okay. So, let's get this. Let's grab our, uh, let's grab the sleeve. It's hot. Hold the machine down. Turn it around. Boom. Wait a minute. Get it back. Get it back. Let's turn this beaver off. Yeah. Take it down. Take this off. Sit there for a couple seconds. Boom, 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 boom. Ten seconds. Let it cool. Just cool. Okay. And I'm saying like that's not gonna really show, yo. I think I did that backwards. Yeah, I think I did. But you know what? This is a test run. You got to do, listen, God, if you want to get to that level of perfection, like, I'm going to tell you who, Stan Banks. Yo, I love that brother, man, and I believe he's right here where I am, too. I believe I've heard him say that in his video before. But, yo, that brother right there, man, he, he's like a master, and he's so quick with it. He's gotten to perfection with his shit, like, just throwing the garment over the top of the the press, knowing exactly exactly where the measurement is from the neckline to where the print should be laid out at, weed and all that. I mean, you know, the brother's good. You know what I'm saying? The brother's really good. So, yeah, now let's go ahead and peel this. Hold it down. Peel it off. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, okay. I can see the, I can see the handprint. Let's see the hand point. Boom. And there we go. Stretch it back out one time. Right, you know I'm going to hit it real quick. But y'all see that? Okay, let's hit that real quick. Let me hit this real quick. Put the Teflon over it. Boom. And let's hold it down. Turn the machine back around. No timer because we just counting this down. We're hitting this for about five, seven seconds. Just to get that extra press on there. Bring it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And boom. There we go. Grab the end of the sheet, I mean the end of the sleeve. Hold it down because it's hot. You don't want nobody to get burnt. Turn it around. Okay. All right. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's go ahead and peel. Three, four, five, ten seconds. That's ten seconds. Let's peel that. Doom, the 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 doom. Let's see what it is. See what it is. Okay, yep, yep, yep. That's nice. Make sure I see this real quick right here. And then I'm out of here. Try not to make my videos too, too long, but you know, want to make sure y'all got it. So, boom. How's that looking? Let's bring this up. Can't really see it. Over here, okay. Y'all seeing that? Okay, so that was the weed session. Hope you guys found that informative. And if, if anybody was having any problems with weeding or anything like that, I hope I was able to help you and answer and solve some of your problems you may have been having. If not, feel free to inbox me, hit your girl up. You know what I'm saying? That's what we do. That's what we do. All right? And, yo, I'm out. Peace. Another BDC. BDC. Till next time.